Dear mom, I'm so proud to be your daughter. Thank you so much for raising me as she did and always surrounding me to choose you, my actions, decisions wisely because I needed to be of value for a husband and a role model for my future children. I know it may not have seemed like I didn't want to listen, but I need you to know that one reason why Mike was chosen to me is because I am <laughs> the value you still in me. I am who I am because of you. So again, mom, thank you so much for all the love, support, and advice. It has all paid off today. I'm so happy we get to share this memory together. All of my most beautiful memories have you in it. Our adventures to Peru, the country's hours watching novellas, birthday dinners and celebrations, they all have you in them. I'm so lucky that you are my best friend. You hold so much a special place in my heart. Mom, we will always belong together. Diana. <laughs> Hola, yeah. Today I become Michael's wife, but I will always be your daughter and best friend. I will always care for you, look for after you, and worry about your your well-being. We have so many more adventures to look toward to, novellas to watch and memories to make it. I love you so much, my Alicia, Doña Clarita, mommy. I hope today and always I make you proud to be my mom, to be my mom. I love you. Diana, Diani, Nana, <laughs> Gaviotita, Marcia. <laughs> Thanks, Nani. This is so beautiful. I am really so excited to be part of this new adventure in your life. Dear Dad, do you remember Sometimes we'd race each other to the car. Or that we made a list of license plates of different states that we'd see on drives. How about the black leopard we saw not giving up until he caught his fish? These are just some of the memories I hold near and dear to my heart with you, Dad. I cannot express how thankful I am for all the times you encouraged me to chase my dreams from going to Europe to living on campus, you were always the person who wanted me to experience life the most. Thank you for all of your love and support throughout my life. I hope you enjoy your gift and it be something that reminds you of me and this day always. Even though today I am becoming Michael's wife, I know that I am still very much your daughter and that I will always be there for you no matter what. Michael and I appreciate all the help you gave us for our wedding and I really hope you enjoy yourself today and that I've made you proud. I love you, Dad. Love, Diana. To my wife-to-be. Baby, I feel like we have come such a long way. I still remember sitting in the airport on my way back from New York, wondering if we were still going to meet on our first date, and sure enough, you did. I also still remember our first kiss, even if it was a little awkward. It was the first of thousands, and I will always pull you in close and kiss you to show how much you mean to me, even when there are no words. I thank God every day that we found each other. I truly believe that we are the right people for one another. You inspire me to be a better man and to push myself. You make me want to be better for both of us. All of our conversations on the therapy couch will be cherished memories forever. It was during those long talks we had in the apartment and while walking Gunner that I fell in love with you. Sometimes it seems hard to believe how perfect we are for each other. 
we share the same views and values and I trust you with all my heart. We have so many incredible memories together. The fire hydrant, the swings in La Jolla, being at two places at one time and so many more. You bring me more joy than I thought was ever possible and I can't wait to make many more memories with you. Thank you for always loving me and supporting me in everything. Life throws curveballs, but that will never stop us from hitting home runs. I am so grateful for how patient and understanding you are. As we get ready to be married, I want you to know that I will always strive to be the best husband you deserve the world and I am making my goal to bring it to you. I promise to show you passion and express my love for you. <laughs> I will flirt with you and pursue you for the rest of our lives. I am marrying you because you are beautiful inside and out. You bring me happiness and love that I didn't even know was possible. I love laughing together and dancing in the living room. I love seeing you when you are excited about something. I love your smile and the little dances you do when you are happy. I'm excited for our future and the life we will build together. I know you will be the greatest wife that I could ever ask for and will make all of our dreams come true together. And we will make fantasy land become reality land. There will be a lot of running and chasing, screaming and laughing. I cannot explain how happy I am to start a family with you. We will bring the most beautiful, happy, and healthy children in the world. I promise to be the best father, and I know you will be the greatest mother that our kids could ever ask for. I am grateful that we finally get to spend the rest of our lives together. You mean the world to me, and I love you more than anything. Love, your husband, Dee. Blessed is the God always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Oh, 
For the peace of the whole world, for the good of the state of the holy church, and the God and the union of all mankind, let us pray. Amen. Amen. For thou in the beginning didst make them male and female, and by thee is a woman joined unto the man as a helpmeet, and for the procreation of the human race. Wherefore, O Lord our God, who sent forth thy truth upon thine inheritance and thy covenant unto thy servants, our fathers, even thine elect from generation to generation, do thou now bless this putting on of the rings with thy heavenly benediction, and let thy angel go before them all the days of their life, for thou art he who blesseth and sanctifieth all things. And unto thee do we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Now shall lead to the fruit of thy labors, O blessed art thou. Blessed art thou, O Lord, our God, the priest of mystical and pure marriage, the, and the ordainer of the law of the marriage of the body, the preserver of immortality, and the provider of good things. Do thou, the same master, who in the beginning didst make man, and didst set him to be a king over thy creation, and didst say, It is not good for man to be alone on the earth. Let us make a help meet for him. Taking one of his ribs, thou didst fashion woman. The servant of God, Michael, is crowned to the servant of God, Diana. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The servant of God, Michael, is crowned to the servant of God, Diana. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The servant of God, Diana, is crowned to the servant of God, Michael. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The servant of God, Diana, is crowned to the servant of God, Michael. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The servant of God, Diana, is crowned to the servant of God, Michael. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. O Lord, our God, crown them with glory and with honor. said to them, fill the jars with water. Thanks be to God, I've been stationed out here in sunny San Diego, and I was able to be here and help with this wedding. It's an honor and privilege. And I finally get to meet the woman that Mike takes on talking about all the time, so it's an honor and privilege to finally meet Diana. thou like unto Rebecca, do thou multiply like unto Rachel, rejoice thou in thy husband, fulfilling the conditions of the law, for so is well pleasing.
come with age Remember when things were so innocent Now I just want to rage I thought never to love again To elongate us to space Your eyes met mine like a needle That went straight into my veins This has been uh, just the most incredible time and uh, we know that tonight's going to be beautiful on behalf of Mike and Diana we thank you so much uh, for coming this has been almost a full-time job uh, for my wife and I'm sure I can't imagine what Diana and her family has been doing out here but all the preparations and uh, we're just so happy so happy for Mike and for Diana we love you and we're so glad that our families now are being blended together and uh, just looking forward to getting to know the Keith Overs better. And, and again, I'm just so grateful that you're here and uh, I think Mike made a good choice. Amen? Amen. I think so. And so God bless. Enjoy this night and uh, let's just have a great time together. Diana, as we stand here today, today surrounded by our loved ones, I want to speak from the heart and make some promises to you. First things first, I love you, and I mean that with all of my heart. You're incredible in every way. Not only are you beautiful, but I truly admire how caring and compassionate you are. You always think of others and show them kindness, and that's something I truly love about you. No matter what life throws our way, I vow to always be there for you. We're in this together. Through thick and thin, we'll face everything as a team. We'll build a life that's filled with excitement and we'll conquer any challenges that come our way. As we become husband and wife, I promise to prioritize your happiness. I will always put you first and do whatever it takes to make sure that you are taken care of. Your dreams and goals are just as important to me as my own and I will support you every step of the way. When life gets tough, I want you to know that I will always be there for you. You can count on me to provide unwavering support. And looking ahead, I'm excited about the idea of us starting a family together. You're going to be an incredible mom, and I can't wait to see the amazing family that we, that we create together. You mean the world to me, and I'm grateful to have you in my life. Let's start a life together that's full of happiness, love, and incredible memories. I love you with all my heart. I'm going to really try to do this without crying. Michael Stephen Lindsay, my love, my husband. I fantasized about these pals for so long. So to be here with my declaration of love in hand is very surreal. Before we met, I was very lost and very broken. At 29, I felt like I had truly lost the opportunity to find somebody great, get married and start a family crying myself to sleep at night, I'd pray to God and ask him for just one more shot. I just needed to meet one good guy and I promised to do it right, to be the very best version of me and to give it my all. When I saw you online, <laughs> in your uniform your templar cross caught my eye and that was my opening line to you so to all the templars here hurrah <laughs> i like to believe it was divine intervention in the same way that we've married today on pentecost on our first date i told you my intentions were to be the greatest wife and best mom someday. And while your reply was that you weren't looking for a relationship, at least you didn't run away. <laughs> on the contrary, we kept going on dates, we kept hanging out, and before we knew it, we were together. I'm lucky enough to remember the day I fell in love with you. <sighs> you had Harney Sushi waiting for me at the apartment. And after dinner, you turned on a song and we slow danced in your living room. 
as my head was on your chest, I knew I was falling in love with you. While a lot of things in our relationship have not been easy, we've weathered great storms as a couple, and even but you've instilled the faith I needed to know that we will always work things out together. I'm so happy to be here today, to be yours, and to say these vows to you. They mean so much to me. I vow to be yours and only yours, forsaking all others. To wake up every day and choose you to hold your hand and to be by your side. I will be your biggest supporter in everything you do in this lifetime, promising to be a great companion for you on our journey from earth to heaven. I promise to follow your lead even when it's tough because I know you're the only person on this earth who truly wants the best for us. And when life gets hard, no matter how hard we might get knocked, I promise to have enough heart to always get up and continue fighting for us, our family, and the life we want. Lastly, I vow to love you fiercely, respect you wholeheartedly, and to always remember that before any other title I could ever hold, including the one of mom, I'm first and foremost your wife. I love you forever and always. You could never, ever have picked a better one. She is phenomenal. You two are going to become a power, a power couple. I can see it coming. Michael, if you do everything like you did this, you've got nowhere to go but up. Trust me, you do. Diana, oh, you know how we feel, all right? Darlene and I just absolutely love you. And we are so, so glad that you are in our life. Oh, it, it just takes my breath away. It really does. All as I can tell you, I have something special to say to her, okay? Okay. Today, Darlene and I want to officially welcome you as our Granddaughter. Thank you. <laughs> you already were. You already were. I know. I'll see you later. Okay. My little sister isn't a little sister anymore. This is a fairy tale wedding. This entire event, everybody here. Thank you, everybody, for coming. The Lindsays, my friends, Diana's friends, family. Uh, this is this is crazy. This is crazy. Just want to wish you guys a happy marriage, the future, family, nieces, nephews, the whole shebang. Cheers, guys. He had the misfortune of being the youngest of the five. Um, for anyone that has kids, you know that you know when you have your first kid, you know you worry about every little thing. You rush them to the doctor at the first sign of something wrong. Uh, by the time you get to five, that's kind of out the window. Like, uh, you better be like missing a limb before you even ask to go to the doctor. And uh, that was kind of the case with Mike. I mean, we never took this kid to the hospital. Like, it didn't matter what happened to him. Uh, when we were kids, we all had dirt bikes. And one day Mike was riding his dirt bike and uh, he was wearing a helmet, but he fell off. He hit his head on a rock and knocked himself out. And uh, when he regained consciousness, we were like, you're probably fine. That's, uh, don't worry about that. Uh, There's another time that the three of us were out at the pool and we had a, like a floating basketball hoop and Mike decided he was gonna try to run, jump, do a flip and slam dunk the ball into the basketball hoop. And I don't know, you weren't coordinated enough or something, but he ended up running, jumping, landing on the top of his head on the edge of the deck and falling into the pool. We were like, I, don't worry about that. that. That tingling in your spine will go away in a couple days, I guess. Um, but no, he made it. Uh, he's here. Um, but on a more serious note, Mike, um, I'm really proud of you, man. You know, you've, you have a really impressive military career. You have a great wife now. Um, I know, uh, you know, you really care about your uh, your family, and um, there's a story I 
from high school, I think this is, at least I believe I have this story correct. It was after I graduated, but Tyler and Mike were still in school and um, we were going to Cornerstone at the time. And I guess uh, Tyler got into a fight in, uh, in the hallway and Mike happened to come around the corner and saw that Tyler was in a fight and it didn't really matter who he was fighting or why he was fighting him, but Mike just jumped in to help because it was his brother. And uh, I know um, you'll, uh, you'll treat your, your new family and your, your wife the same way. Diana, I, this is really only like, I don't know, the third time we've met. Um, but, um, you know, she's always, since you guys have been together every year, you've made sure to send Christmas presents and birthday presents to all the kids. And um, we really appreciate that. And uh, um, just watching you with, you know, my daughter and all the kids in our family, I know uh, you'll make a, a great wife and a great mom someday. So uh, here's to Mike and Diana. And welcome to the family. All right, I wasn't entirely planning on speaking today, but the uh, open bar did change a few things. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to do this and I would have regretted not saying a few things tonight. Dana, my little sister, don't do that. Don't do that. You're going to get me doing that. <laughs> So Dana earlier mentioned that, here's a little story. Dana earlier mentioned when she was reading her vows um, to Mike that she thought that she had missed her opportunity to find real love, that her best years were behind her. She had recently broken up with her boyfriend at the time. She was turning uh, 29, 30 and thought that, you know, she's just not, she's just not gonna find love. And my entire life, I have never needed to guide Diana into any type of um, direction. She's just always been completely independent, completely like has this energy about her that is she could do anything. Everything is easy. I would kill for that type of I overthink things. And but Diana is just this inspiration to me as she's my little sister, but she inspires me. And so um, thinking that she with this really pure heart this this just like she's just very selfless and to think that she my my one sister would not have that opportunity to find love and live this um ideal life with uh family just devastated me as soon as i saw this this uh, mindset kind of creeping in and this depression starting to start and i just instinctively said that i i could not like I have to intervene. I have to at least try to change the this direction. If if I don't do anything, then I would feel bad that I didn't I didn't try. So I immediately said N no no, and I, I brought her into my room. I have a whiteboard, and I said okay, this is so I'm a little analytical, and I said all right, what what is your objective, right? So I wrote it down, right? Say find true love. Okay, all right, that's the objective. Find true love. All right, and I said okay this is a little hard this is everyone would have a soulmate if this you know everyone the, the, the divorce rate would wouldn't be what it is if this were an easy test right so so i said look you have to understand the problem in itself takes intelligence it takes effort and 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 both of them together really you you just you know you, you let's think about this and let's think of the solution because i, I can't see you like this i can't see you just end up not with someone else not enjoying your company not forming a family not having kids you you deserve the stars you deserve the world and i can't see my little sister not have that she's too special she's such a treasure she's just the shining light she's so unique and i can't see this this singular light of of beauty and of happiness and of inspiration just be you know just the light just fades i can't see that i need to see her with an equal partner right someone that has the same energy someone that matches is in, is a good equal for her right so anyway i intervened we broke it down on the whiteboard we worked backwards right as 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 good problem solving is done right you work backwards on how do you achieve this outcome and we i think it did it i think we did a good job you know 
<laughs> yeah, I think we did. You know, so I did vet Mike. I vetted all the all the different potential suitors for my sister. Arthur and I, we did vet. We did vet, and I, I did give the thumbs up. When Mike said he wasn't, ser at the time, this, entirely serious about a relationship, I gave the thumbs down at that time. But da Diana, Diana saw something that I didn't because I didn't go on a date with Mike. <laughs> so Diana said, no, I think, you know what? I think I'm gonna give him a few more dates, right? And then those few more dates led to a few more dates. And those few more dates led into love and it led into this fairy tale wedding celebration. This, I feel like I'm in a movie. This feels like a movie. This feels so surreal. And I am just so happy. And Mike, is, you are such a great guy. You, I could not ask for a better partner for my sister. You're a strong guy. I know that together, as Papa mentioned earlier, you guys are going to be a power couple. And I am so happy to have you as part of my family. And I welcome you wholeheartedly to my family. I didn't lose a sister, I gained a brother. Now, here's a funny thing that between my sister and I, what we do often is we give each other just randomly movie quotes but we don't say where the movie what the movie is and we have to guess what the movie's from and i am happy to say that i believe wholeheartedly that dana you found it's that can't eat can't sleep reach for the stars over the fence world series kind of love so thank you all for being here today you guys if you weren't here today this celebration wouldn't be this magical it just it just absolutely would not have the same energy and i think everyone from all sides of the family thank you all for being here today this is a truly once in a lifetime experience for me i'm so happy to be part of this for you sister you nailed it with this whole dan has largely put this together with the wedding planner but dana did all this effort so to that cheers let me get my drink Cheers, cheers, cheers. Welcome to the family, Mike. Dan, I love you. May you guys have a, a long life full of love and happiness. Cheers. I talked about that a little bit, but I want to be serious with you guys tonight, if I could. I listened very closely to your vows. And I was, it was one of the probably 300 times I've been overwhelmed uh, over the last day or so, you know. Uh, just overwhelming, just listening to and knowing what I truly believe is the purity of your hearts and how much you mean those. So it's 2023. Those words you spoke today need to be good in 2073 or 2083. And there's only one way that you can know for sure, and that's keeping Christ at the center of your lives and your marriage. And... Uh, 44 years ago, Lori and I uh, stood at an altar and uh, were married, and there was a song, I think I can remember the words, I could never promise you on just my strength alone that all my life I'd care for you and love you as my own. I only know the, or excuse me, I don't know the future, I only see today words that last a lifetime would be more than I could say. But I stand before you now for all to hear and see and promise you in Jesus' name the love he's given me. And through the years on earth and as eternity goes by, the life and love he's given us and the life and love he's given you is never going to die. Let's toast. Raise a glass and cheers. Toast Mike and Diana. Well, I wanted to thank everybody for being here. As my son said, this would not be a magical celebration with, without you. And I thank all of you very much. In gratitude, my heart being part of this you guys just did something that I hope you're going to remember for the rest of your lives you're man and wife now you're together together and that's wonderful I'm happy for Mike I, I knew Mike uh, was going to be a wonderful match for Diana because Mike and I are her brothers in the military and we understood each other right from the start and I know that Diane and I were a match 
So I know that it was going to be a good match between Diana and Mike, and I know it's going to last for, I don't say forever, but for the rest of their lives. And I was going to tell a joke, but my my uh, other son over there said, well, you better not tell that, so I won't. You want to you hear it? You will never forget this joke. It's a food joke. And we've all had a very good meal here. That uh, was delicious, what I had. I don't know what you guys had, but anyway. Is this uh, lady was growing tomatoes. They never turned out very well. She had a neighbor. His tomatoes were beautiful. And she said, how do you get your tomatoes to grow and they look so nice? She said, well, I go down every morning and I flash them. Oh, she said, well, I'll try that. So every morning she went down and she flashed her tomatoes. Well, she didn't uh, only flash the tomatoes, she flashed her whole garden. And they ran into each other, the neighbor and, her, and this lady ran into each other. She said, so, how are your tomatoes doing? Oh, she says, the tomatoes are doing poorly but the cucumbers are enormous. <laughs> Here's to Diana and Mike. May they long live a happy married life. We love you guys. Good evening to everyone. I am so excited to share a few words tonight. I guess most of the things that I wanna say have been said already, <laughs> but there are a few other things that only a mother can share. This is a great time. This is a great moment for Diana and Mike to celebrate this great day. We all dream in to find the right person, your half-half. Like we see in Spanish, to mita naranja, no? <laughs> and I think they found each other, regardless the distance in Mike was in, oh, away from the United States, he was in Japan, but they continue having the relationship that, through the distance and I guess the love start growing much stronger. And today they make a real thing. Nani, my beautiful bride, my beautiful daughter, my baby forever. And of course, my best friend. When I had you, you were a baby. You have this little, this little creation of Jesus, you know, in your hand. And it seems like, oh, this is just a baby. It's, I just wanna see her walking and talking and telling me things and, and suddenly these things happen. And there Diana was very fast growing and developing such a strong personality. And I think there was a great influence with the boys because she always wanted to be just what the boys do. She didn't want to do the, what girls are supposed to do. <laughs> and one of the things I always was saying, why don't you wear makeup when she was, of course, at the right age. And she was saying, oh, I don't like makeup. I would rather have, I want to play football. And I went, wow, I want you to play ballet, go to do dancing. I said, no, I want to play soccer. But anyway, Diana always has had this spirit of be a leader, and be a strong person, uh, personality. I love you, Diana, dearly. In the heart of a mother, never changes the love, not even that you have a new real like to star. In my heart, you always be my baby that grew up with me in such a wonderful way. 
you you were an altar server you were always strongly raised spiritually and i always say and i always tell you and i will tell you the same when there is a problem call me maybe at the last minute when you can't do anymore but the first thing that you gotta do is go to god go to him and tell him your problems i believe that what we need in this world is more faith more love to, to god who will really will care, care for us and he's very anxious to hear us not only in the time of trouble not only in the time that we need him is every day and be thankful for all what he does for us be thankful for what he gives us one more day to live because life is not how many years we're gonna live life is not really how many birthdays we're gonna celebrate life is today today is life where we should appreciate every single minute of the day so you now mike that become a part of this family. And I'm so happy that you joined, that you have created this magical moment for Diana. Let me go back to say that first. And we open our hearts with all our love to our family and the same to your family. I am so happy that we had the opportunity to meet all the Lindsay family and they did a great rehearsal dinner last night. And in fact, Lori prepared this um, slide of pictures when they were babies and how time keep growing, they were continue developing. And it was very touching for me and we share the same feeling with Lori that I cry and I see how fast the time went by and it seemed like I didn't enjoy it as I wish I had done at the moment but probably I did. It's just time goes too fast, especially when you're a parent and you're trying to cope with everything that a marriage demands. And so I am very grateful, Diani and Mike, that you give me this opportunity to enjoy this great time, this great moment. And like as I, as they said before, nothing would have been the same in these dear friends were not here. These dear families were not here. And thanks again from the bottom of my heart to all of you who came here to complete this happiness, this joy, these great memories. And let me tell you a little bit, Diana and Mike, you have chosen one of the most difficult careers of life. Being married is a big task. Being married is not just to have a great house and the most expensive car or a refrigerator full of food and tell every day to your wife, what did, how you cook for me today? Or how, how was it work for you today? No, marriage is the essence of love. And love is this word that expresses tenderness, care, and concerns. When you see Diana one day tired, don't think that she's in a bad mood. Think, ask her, you're tired, you feel well, what can I do for you? And I'm sure Diana will do the same for Mike. Marriage is like this plant. You know that when we put in the garden this little seed, you just don't abandon. And you're happy now you have it, you plant it and she should grow. If it rains, so you remember you water the plant when you can, but the plant is gonna flourish no matter what. But that is not marriage and not even any plant will survive like that. Plants, some need more water, some need less water, some need shade, some less, don't need any, some need full sun. And the same is love in marriage. It's this little love, this little world that you can express each other, this little concerns that you have for feelings, and there are gonna be many bumps on the road, but if you two love and respect, they are gonna be solved. And always, like I said, with Jesus first, in first place. So tonight is, a, is an evening to remember, not only today, 
for the rest, you will remember for the rest of the years that you will be together. And I wish you, I wish you, Mike, to grow with Diana, to have the best dreams, go to the top of the line where you want to be. You two together will grow together. In a marriage, I don't think there is a winner or a loser or the boss and you do what I said. I think in a marriage is only one mind, one soul, is one unit of love that we have to resolve problems in benefit of the family and benefit of us. And each of them have to compromise with love and care. I know we can say the most beautiful words about what all love means, but only you will discover the best way to survive while you love each other and you respect each other and you never break the trust in each other. So for all of that, thanks again, and thank you so much. Um, the wonderful family, Lindsay, for all of them came here to support and offer this love to Mike and to us. And once more time, thank you for all of you and send you a kiss to all of one who's here. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Yes, Diana. Kind of makes this almost too light-hearted to say, but obviously, first and foremost, thank you everyone for being here, um, for coming out today. There are people who have come from New York, obviously the whole Lindsay family, um, Pennsylvania, New Hampshire. There, there are people who have traveled far to be here today with us and to celebrate. And I'm beyond grateful and thankful to have all these memories with you guys, all your smiling faces dressed to the nines. <laughs> um, to Mike's family, my new family, the Lindsays. I'm so fortunate and so lucky to be welcomed into such a big family. One thing that I miss a lot every time I come back from Peru with my mom is having a large table full of people that are my family. And so to know that I think there's like 20 of you guys <laughs> um, is just, it fills my heart because family for me is first and foremost and the most important thing that I've ever had in my life. And so I thank you guys so much for all the love, Mr. and Mrs. Lindsay, for the beautiful rehearsal dinner yesterday. Papa and Darlene for always being a phone call away during this entire preparation, which was over like two years, I think, knowing my adventures to how we got here today. Um, so thank you so much for welcoming me into your family wholeheartedly and so genuinely. To my parents, my dad, for that joke. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for helping Mike and I, Dad, um, with this beautiful and magical and fairy tale esque wedding. This is a beautiful venue. I couldn't have done it without your help, Dad. <laughs> to my brothers, Arthur, thank you for putting in the request. Okay, this is a story. My parents were done having children after they had my brothers, or so they thought, because I'm here. <laughs> and um, my brother Arthur told my mom that he wanted a baby sister. And my mom asked him, well, what about if it's a boy? And he said, I'll pray. So here I am. And some may argue that I owe you my life. You've looked after me and cared for me, uh, even to this day, with your advice, your positive, positivism, your motivation. And I love you for being such a great brother to me. <laughs> to Alex. <laughs> so
so much of this wedding has been designed by Alex, actually. And I know that he gave me the, um, he gave me in his speech the honor, but in reality, I will always remember arguing about pixels with you. <laughs> And whether it's one pixel up or one pixel down, and somehow we end up in the middle. My invitations, the beautiful welcome signs, this beautiful dance floor, the menu, hold on, these menus, these menus. Um, everything was designed by him, so to have um, all these elements be so near and dear to my heart it's not just for the show it's it was a, a, an act of love from your part and i will always remember being with you designing and we nailed it we nailed it <laughs> oh man and the funny thing is that you actually took part of my speech. Um, it seems to be common here, I think. Um, but yes, um, Arthur, some may argue you owe, or I owe you my life, but Alex, some may argue that I owe you my happiness. So thank you for whiteboarding life with me and sharing such a special bond that you and I do. I love you because you too are a great brother. Thank you. To my mom, thank you for raising me with so many values, even if I kicked and screamed a lot of the times throughout the years. Um, you and I share so many memories together. Adventures, we got stuck in Peru during COVID. Uh, that was intense. That was very intense. Um, and collectively, to all four of you guys, um, I know that today I start a new life with Michael, but that doesn't change me being a daughter or a sister. If anything, I just have a little bit more help now to be a better daughter and a better sister to you guys. <clears throat> and coincidentally enough, a, a few weeks ago, I think I saw this article online about two best friends who hadn't seen each other in years. And I saw my best friend in the hallway today, and I probably had an even better reaction than that video I saw. And uh, that's my ride or die right there, Simone. Mona, Moners, I know it's been years since you and I have talked and spent time together, but I knew that you were always just one phone call away. And I want you to know that I too am always just one phone call away. I love you. I love you. Oh, I love you so much. <laughs> And it's you, you and your mom, your, your, your mom being here is just like going down memory lane for me. And I'm, I'm beyond thankful for having you here. Me too. And lastly to, ah, front set. I, cannot thank you and John enough for being here today and for making such a beautiful memory in my life, in my wedding. I will always cherish the fact that my sister came out after reconnecting with me after almost 30 years, and I genuinely mean that. And I do look forward to growing a relationship with you so please don't be so like a distant aunt <laughs> we love you and thank you so much to both of you for being here today to my new husband 
Ah, oh, I know. I can be a little much sometimes. <laughs> I know I cannot make sense half the time. I'm a riddle riddled with flaws. And even though I have all of these imperfections that I'd love to change about myself, you make me feel like I'm a complete whole and perfect person. She has been such a special and beautiful day for me. And the moment I saw you at the end of the aisle was the moment I was waiting for. Everything else is just kind of like icing on the cake. I love you, and I'm very excited to be your wife and to start a family with you. I love you. So cheers, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. I wish I was as eloquent as everybody else, but <laughs> unfortunately I had to you know, write mine out so I could make sure I don't forget anybody or forget anything that I want to say. So firstly, I would like to take a moment to express our deepest gratitude to all of you who have joined us today. Your presence here means the world to us, and we appreciate the effort and distance many of you have traveled to be here. While it is impossible to mention each of you by name, please know that we are genuinely thankful for your presence and the love and support that you've shown us. Now I want to turn my attention to a couple of individuals who hold a very special place in our hearts, Diana's parents, Mr. and Mrs. Kefover. I want to thank you for raising such an extraordinary daughter. Your love and guidance have shaped her into the incredible woman that she is today. I'm grateful for how warmly you've welcomed me into your family, and I want to ensure you, assure you that I will always take care of her just as you have done throughout her life. Next, I want to express my heartfelt appreciation to my own parents. Mom and Dad, you have always guided me, supported me, and have been there for me every step of the way. I consider myself incredibly fortunate to have parents like you. Without your unwavering support, I would not be the man standing here today. Thank you for everything you've done for me. And now the most important person in my life, my wife, Diana. Our journey together started uh, during a, kind of an odd time when quarantine was first starting. I don't think we had any idea at the time that being stuck at home would turn out to be such a blessing. While the world was on pause, we had the chance to spend countless hours talking and, connect and connecting on a deeper level. And it was during those long talks that I fell in love with you. Life then decided to throw us a curveball when I had to pack my bags and head off to Japan. But you happily stuck by my side. You didn't let distance or time zones dampen our spirits. In fact, it only made us stronger. Your unwavering support and love have shown me the depth of your commitment and I couldn't be prouder to call you my wife. You are not only gorgeous, but you also have a great heart. Your laugh, your beautiful smile, and your ability to make every day brighter have completely filled my life with happiness. I'm grateful for every moment we share together, and I love you more than anything. So let's raise our glass in honor of my amazing wife. Here's to the beautiful life that we'll build together. Thank you. Wise men say Only fools rush in But I can't help Falling in love with Shall I stay? Would it be a sin if I can't help falling in love with? Like a Darling, so it goes Some things are meant to be Take my hand 
take my whole life to for I can't help falling in love with you like a river flows surely to the sea Darling, so it goes Some things are meant to be Take my hand Take my whole life too For I can help Falling in love with you For I can't help Falling in love with you Can your friends please give them a round of applause? Of all my whispered 
praise You have found a love that's true A precious heart to give yours to A whole life to share And I love the way you look at her And the way she looks at you to God and one another and you'll make it through Dance with me baby Let me hold you in these arms It used to pick you up and dust you off and hide you from the storm This letting go is beautiful and bittersweet Let me hold you in these arms It used to pick you up And dust you off And hide you from the storm This letting go is beautiful And bittersweet So let's dance for all that was And all that's yet to be Dance with me, baby 